What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. My channel. Welcome. We are going to do an album reaction to Eternal Sunshine by Ariana Grande. All right, Autumn, when did she come out with her sixth album, Positions? 2021. No. It's actually 2020. Yeah, like October 30th. Oh, okay. That's crazy. It's been four years since she's come out with anything. So I'm excited to listen to what this album brings. Um, the track list is 13 songs at 35 minutes, 33 seconds. And starts with intro, goes into bye, don't want to break up again, Saturn Returns, interlude, Eternal Sunshine, which is the name of the album, Supernatural, True Story, The Boy Is Mine, Yes And, which, is, which was her single, we Can't Be Friends, Wait For Your Love, in parentheses. I Wish I Hated You, Imperfect For You, and then it ends with Ordinary Things featuring Nona. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's begin. What did you that think of that? So good. It was a little sweet intro. Mm -hmm. I don't think anything will ever top her one intro though, the Angels. Angels? From Sweetener. What? I don't think it was Sweetener. No, Angel Drops. The Rain Drops. Drops from the Angels Cry song was from Sweetener. Okay, okay. Yeah, that one's a good intro. I liked it. Alright, next. <laughs> I heard this song, or like this album, is based on her ex-husband. Oh, Dalton Cummings. Yeah, boy, bye, for real. <laughs> no, because like I heard he cheated on her or something like that. Or oh, yeah, that's the typical breakup story. It sucks. Um, are you are you gonna vlog the Madison Beer concert? Yeah, yeah, it's gonna go into one of my vlogs. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think this song, like the beginning, it reminded me of like Be Alright, you know? Just a little bit. Like the da 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 I don't know. Uh, like that, isn't it? Just like, I guess this part. I can't believe I'm finally living through my fears. At least I know how. Maybe she sampled it. <laughs> Wait, it, what Be Alright song you're talking about? We're gonna be alright, baby. Don't you know? All them tears gonna come and go. Is baby, that by her too? Up your mind. Well, it's actually written by Victoria Monet, her friend. And like, she allowed her to take it mm -hmm. and release it herself. So, but yeah, that's what it kind of like gave me vibes of. Alright, don't wanna break up again. I feel like this one's gonna be like a sad. sad I one. heard that that one or. It says it's I heard, explicit. I heard Internal Sunshine, Don't Wanna Break Up Again, and The Boy Is Mine is really good. And We Can't Be Friends. I heard all of those were really good. Yeah, I heard The Boy Is Mine, like from her interview, she said that's supposed to be like a bad girl anthem. So I'm excited to get to that. But yeah, her three favorite songs herself are We Can't Be Friends, Eternal Sunshine, and then I'm Perfect For You 
just second to last, so let's get to it. This is Don't Wanna Break Up Again. Gave me like 2000s vibes. Like, yes, and mixed with like her positions album. I bit. feel like this whole album is kind of 2000s mm -hmm. inspired. Especially the boy, like she tattled on her song The Boys Mind, like mm -hmm. in the 2000s. Yeah, she, she did say she recreated that, which I haven't heard the original. I feel like we should rank all the songs at the end, like best to least favorite. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, so far, I think I like intro the best. I don't know why. I just, and then it would go by and then don't want to break up again. Mm. Yeah, like the two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I didn't really. It was like good. I would give it. It was mellow. I, I would give this one a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. I don't know. I heard everyone say this was like her best album so far, and I just feel like. I liked her other albums better. Like, I feel like Sweet and It was her best one, honestly. Hmm. Okay, okay. Saturn returns in her mood. When we're all born Saturn somewhere, and the Saturn cycle takes around about 29 years, it's that's when we're going to wake up and smell second. the coffee because if we've just been it's sort of nasty. relying on our nasty. cleverness or. I think that one's my favorite so far. Yeah, I like that one. I give that a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 9. I feel like it's weird because I have to listen to the song a lot before I think about how much I like it. Mm -hmm. But like so far, that was my favorite one. I liked how the interlude went right into it. It gave me Thank You Next vibes. Mm -hmm. The part where she started like rhyming, it, it was catchy. Like, three, five, five, ten. Which one's next? True story. I haven't heard anything about this one. I don't, yeah, me either. I don't think she even talked about it. Um, but let's give it a listen. This is a true story oh, about wait. the lie. What? I lied. Literally, this is about all the lies. I just lied right now. I've heard this. This came out along with Fantasize that was oh, leaked. Oh, the one for unreleased ones? Yes, I love this one. I think this one might be my favorite. By the way, I, I just of. hope you know you're gonna get copyrighted on YouTube for this. I'm gonna speed it up and oh. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah. so it's just we're just gonna be like. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh. I'll make it to where it won't. It won't. Yeah, get copyrighted. But then I I wish you released Fantasize on her album. I know, it's not on here. And everyone was saying that they thought it would be. I mean, she said, um, she commented 
that the boy is mine is supposed to be like fantasize. Yeah, but, but I want fantasize. <laughs> I want him. I mean, that's already um, like me kind of complete and out already, but. Yeah, but I want her to like publish it so I can add it to my album. True. Okay. Well, this one, listen to it. It's so good. All right. You fantasize How you and I This is a true story That high note at the end. Yes. I think that one's my favorite so far. Okay, real fast though, I wanna play you um, like the leaked version because it's uh, sped up and it just gives it a whole other, I don't know, feel. It's like dance, like you wanna go to a club. I don't know, I just feel like nothing will ever hit as hard as her old like songs. From 2018, 17, so. Maybe. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll just go to like make history. Have you heard Obsessed by Olivia Rodrigo? No. It's an unreleased song and she performed it at her, so at her concert and it was so good. Mm. I would have to give it a listen. Okay, okay. Should be like right about. Ah. No, no, wait. So there's that one, but I don't think that's the fast one. I guess it is. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, let's just get back to that. I'm just so upset it's not on you anymore. This sounds so bad. This wasn't like what it was. Anyways, okay. The boy is mine. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Okay, it gave me, yeah, early 2000s vibes. Kind this of whole like album is. One Two Step by Sierra. I don't, I don't know. know that song. Oh, well, just like the, the beat, I don't know, towards the bridge. I should have worn my arm on the bridge. Yeah, you should have. Why didn't you? It's like bleach, so it's bad. You have to cut this part out, but. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Yes, and I had to move my chair for this because I wanted it. It never gets off for me. you listen to it and then we can watch the video right after so Okay. Girl, not just okay. That was amazing. The strings at the end. I feel like I'll have to like listen to it. More. So ethereal. It reminded me of when this was about to die. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't know either. I think the best line from that song is like the vibe of the song in my mind. Mm. Uh, I don't like how you paint me, but I'm left here hanging or something like that. I'm sad. Here, react to the music video because it just gives it a whole nother level or takes it to a whole nother level. And I was surprised. You already watched the music video and you told me not to watch anything. Okay, okay. So I listened to it last night because we were supposed to do this last night. And it came out. I and purposely didn't watch it. I was, this. I had like listened to it, by okay, accident it was on Instagram. And so I was like, I just. Oh, to you to accidentally thing. listened to it? I scroll every time I see anything with her on it. Yeah, but okay, I, I did take like a little reaction okay, whatever your to it watching. last night, so I'll put that here. I was bawling. Why were you bawling? Because it's so sad. Is it about her like getting divorced? <sighs> sort of. Peaches, I saw that one. See? See? Yeah, but it wasn't the song. It was just her crying and signing it. It was, um, she had posted it in her story. I love this, like, POV kind of take. Why is it like Because I had it on. Sounds like something like familiar. I don't know. She's so cute. 
I like that outfit. It's a skirt. I saw on TikTok that the flowers behind there were at her wedding. Like, they were her wedding flowers. The meaning behind the music video is so sad. It's like her memories of them and stuff. And then, like, moving on. Like, it is. I think, like, the lighting, <laughs> the transitions, the effects, all of it were just really, after, really good. After listening to it again, I, I think it's a good song. Um, the director of this is... I think Chris, the director, Christian Brosslauer. Oh my gosh, I probably butchered that, but and oh like my gosh, so everybody's good. credited in the description, like all of the producers and stylists. And That's a lot of person. She did the lyrics and yeah, there's a lot. But I mean, it's already at almost a million, eight million views. It has 727,000 likes at this moment. That's insane. I, I think, um, actually, I think I'm going to switch up, and I think I'm going to say this is one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I posted a comment. I said, oh, I'm still crying after watching this for the third time. It reflects the emotions that yes, come with you have your life on. heartbreak and having to separate from someone you thought was your person so well. I agree with everyone else. Best music video to date. Her harmonies and background vocals are perfect. Baby girl, it's just me and you. It's just me, myself, and I for now. And I put like a tear emoji. It has 344 likes and three replies. I haven't looked at them yet. Imagine Spongebob's ex-wife right now, lol, she must feel the same way, huh, since, you know, her fam got broken apart. They're You're just, talking about Ethan Slater? Yeah, they're just trying to, like, start an argument. Another person said, I'm a 13-year-old male artist. Okay, that's just try. trying to try to, like, Yeah, they're just trying to plug something. themselves, and then... Huh? Someone replied to their comment, it says, you don't have to spam it on every comment. <laughs> Well, those replies were meh, but yeah, I'm glad other people can relate. I think the music video was really pretty. Like, it got her point across, like, really well. Mm -hmm. I think the song was really good, too, after listening to it for the same time. Yeah, you think you have, like, a better understanding of it. <laughs> yeah, I can't relate to it, but... Alright, uh, next song is I Wish I Hated You. Let's see. I think this whole album is like really sad, but it's like reflecting of her emotions. Mm -hmm. It's like her journey over the past, you know, couple years, few years. Yeah. This song in particular, okay, like the intro kind of reminds me of like, you've been to Space Mountain, yeah. you know, like the beginning when you push it up. It's like you're going through outer space or something. Yeah. She and has a whole like space vibe to like the NASA and everything. Mm -hmm. I'd say this song was more like storytelling, narrative mm -hmm. style of writing. I don't think I would like add it to my playlist, but I think it was really pretty. I think it's actually it reminded me like of a theatrical performance. Like it could be on the stage or like sung on like a musical track. I don't know. That's what I got. Did you did you get that? Mm -hmm. uh, there was like a specific part, kind of towards the end. That Is think of that. the next one the way there's two more songs? Mm -hmm. I'd say all of these melodies so far are kind of like unpredictable. Like I don't really know where it's going to go, but I like it. Like it kind of breaks up monotony. But yeah, like this part. Ooh. I... 
Well, I like how with her old songs, though, they're more like, um, I don't know the word. They're more like bad, like, uh, no, not bad in that way, like bad girl. <laughs> I don't know what to, like, more R&B. These ones are more like calm and sad. And it just, I don't really know. I like some sad songs like Reckless by Madison Beer and everything, but sometimes I want to like feel better. Like I don't want to listen wanna, to a song and make myself feel bad. You, you know? want to like dance and like have party. The, so this is like giving more Adele versus oh, no, Dua Lipa. No, like I like these songs, you know, like it just I have to be in a certain mood to listen to the sad songs like these. Yeah. Like I don't know. <laughs> Here, I think um like this part. Yeah, it sounds like some theater performance. I think it's like a really good calm, sad song. Ooh, that part gave me like good night and go. I think, okay, it was like. Yeah, I think it was 113. Yeah, 113 is where I was re referencing to. It does sound like she's just talking. And like a theoretical voice. Okay. And Perfect For You, this is another one of her favorites. I'm excited to give it a listen. Right. Wait, is this the last one? No, it's, it's the second to last, which is so sad. I'm so sad. I feel like this album is so short. Yeah. Because all the songs are like less than two minutes. Mm hmm This one's three minutes and two seconds. My favorite part of that song was when she did the like little imperfect. <laughs> like it's kind of like minor. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I like that. That was my favorite part of the song. Imperfect for you. Mm. Yeah, the production on that was pretty good. That that part just added like a little like mm, to it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was like cute. I don't know. I, I mean, this is the last song, guys. It's the last song. This album is way too short. She said, but hey, I'm glad we at least just got something. It's been four years. There's like a piece of advice in here from Nona that we should take. So I'm, I'm I know I, I see what it is. I thought it was cute. She put her grandma on the album. Mm -hmm. it's super sweet. Cause what? Okay, wasn't she in? What song was it? Um, they are you talking about can't like, give me something to satisfy me? I don't want you in my blood. Is bloodline? Mm -hmm. All right.
did she say the best song for last? I think that was my favorite one. I do too. I it reminded me of her old, like, Thank You Next, like, album. Like, it, reminded, it reminded me of her old songs, and I liked it. Yeah. And I think the little advice from No Nothing was cute. I liked it a lot. I like, I love her harmonies. They're the best. <laughs> I think the advice from Nona just like made me feel like um, that was my grandma just like talking to me. Like, Nona's my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, that was my favorite one. Okay, now we have to rank them. Um, I don't. Re- I honestly don't really remember like half of them. <laughs> no. So I, you should I, all listen to it again. <laughs> no, all the way. Again. Okay, I think um, my favorite. I think it's gonna go. Um, ordinary things. Hmm. I don't really. Okay, I would have to listen to it again, but like on the top of my head, I think it would go. Ordinary things. True story. We can't be friends. Um, bye. Intro. Um, yes, and Eternal Sunshine. Saturn Returns. Um, I wish I hated you and in, in perfect for you. Hmm. Are you. That's my ranking. Okay, so my top three would have to be. Okay, well, you said your top three were... My top three are We Can't Be Friends, True Story, and Ordinary Things. Those are my top three. Not in order. That's just my top three. Okay. My top three would have to be Bye, Eternal Sunshine, and True Story. Although I do like We Can't Be Friends, Yes, and and Ordinary Things. But, okay, um, ranking them... uh, probably have to go true story eternal sunshine bye then i will seven returns in the loop has to be like with eternal sunshine it can't be broken up and then um intro the boy is mine then yes and then we can't be friends then Ordinary Things, then Imperfect For You, then I Wish I Hated You, and then Supernatural, and Don't Want to Break Up Again. I can't, honestly can't remember what Supernatural sounds like. Me neither. <laughs> All right, let's listen to it. Did we even listen to it? That one was so good because I like the, like I said, I like the upbeat story songs. Yeah, and she definitely gave more vocals with this one versus all the other. I, the other ones are like super sweet and she's not trying to outdo herself and this one she goes off. But it's still like, I like understated. It's in the background. I'm glad we catched on to that because I think I would put that on my top five. Yeah. Okay, should we rank them again? <laughs> no, because I'm not changing my top three. I would just put that on my top five. Okay, okay. Cool. Yay. Yeah, that was it. Um, did you know that she's going to be on SNL tonight? No. She is. I kind of want to do a reaction to that, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. It'll be with this video. No. Can I do it with me? Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to be on top of my Oh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching and reacting with us and 
It was freaking epic, guys. Make sure to smash the like button down below and comment your favorite song. Yeah, I would like to know what y'all's favorite song is. I was being sarcastic. Too. Well, I'm not. Or ironic. Like, ironic? What is up, you two? Make sure you go smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. All right, yeah. That was it. Love it. Ah, I can't wait. I want her to go on tour so bad. So bad. I'm so upset about it. Mom, not like oh my god, oh my god. Alright, thanks. Bye. Alright, let's watch it. Totally, I'll give you that raise. Sorry, I'm such a bad boss. You can have my job. <laughs> no, you're great. I'm doing bad as an employee. You should totally fire me. No, 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 no. You're so amazing. I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. You're, I love you. I love you too. I'm uh, sorry. I'm dumb. No, I know you're smart. No, you're so smart. Yeah. You're both smart and stupid. No. But if you're too busy with heaven, then no worries. That movie's fantastic. Love the musical. Um, let's give it a watch. I want to be with you. Christian, don't be ridiculous. You know I can't fall in love with you. Why? Because you're a prostitute. No. Because you're sick. No. Because you're actually Australian. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like woman
A great movie song can set the mood, reveal something about a character, and help us tell a story. And a great film score can even leave a handprint on our hearts forever. It can ignite wonder and astonishment, make us feel sadness and longing, and can even transport us to new worlds. Or somewhere over the rainbow where the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Oh, how wickedly subtle of you. Heidi Traverse 2, Oppenheimer. All night you've seen performances of this year's nominated songs, and now it's time for the award. And the Oscar goes to... <sighs> Billie Eilish and... <laughs> I had a nightmare about this last night. Um. <laughs> um, thank you to my best friends, David and Ratch, for listening to all my music. Thank you to Claudia for listening to all oh, my music. I thank my best friend, Zoe, for playing Barbies with me growing up and being by my side forever. Um, I want to thank my like dance teachers growing up. I want to thank my choir teachers, Miss Brigham. Thanks for believing in me, Miss T. You didn't like me, but you were good at your job. Thank you, Joe Mary. I love you. <laughs> to watch your inspiring speeches from the ceremony, scan the QR code on your screen. I love you. Oh my God, you're Sorry. Sorry.